Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but look, Lord, you know it all together. You encircle me behind and in front, and you place your hand upon me. This knowledge is beyond me. It's lofty. I can't attain it. Where could I go from your spirit? Or where could I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. Or if I make my bed in the underworld, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and go to the farthest parts of the sea, even there will I be guided by your hand and your right hand will keep me. If I say, only let me be covered by the dark and the light about me be night, even the dark is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for dark and light are the same to you. My flesh was made by you and my parts joined together in my mother's body. I will give you praise, for I am strangely and delicately formed. Your works are great wonders, and of this my soul is fully conscious. My frame was not unseen by you when I was made secretly and strangely formed in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book, all my days were recorded, even those which were purposed before they had come into being. How dear are your thoughts to me, O oh God? How great is the number of them? If I made up their number, it will be more than the grains of sand. When I am awake, I am still with you. O oh God, let the secrets of my heart be uncovered, and let my wandering thoughts be tested. See if there is any way of sorrow in me, and be my guide in the eternal way.